Hello friends, I am Dr. Mohan Elvarma. Welcome you in the 7th lecture. The title of this lecture is The Optimization of Materials Using System. This is a part of series Molecular Modeling Through System which is actually hands-on tutorials for beginners. The objectives of this lecture is to use the script available in, me, available in my group for the optimization of mesh cutoff, optimization of key points, lattice optimization, and the final optimization using sufficient numbers of conjugate gradient steps. Actually, before the study of various properties of materials or nanomaterials, we need to optimize the structure of materials for minimum energy. And for this, we adopt the optimization of following terms. One is the exchange correlation functional, second basis sets, mass cutoff, k points, lattice constants, and the final optimization using sufficient conjugate gradient steps, adopting enough number of iterations and checking convergence of the system. In the previous lectures, I have introduced the terms mentioned here that exchange correlation functions, what is basis sets and its applications, what mass cutoffs, k points and lattice constant. The importance of all these terms in materials modeling, it has already been covered in last section, last lecture. So here I will use the term, these terms directly. So first of all, let us see the optimization of exchange correlation function and basis sets. We are using LDA for analysis of crystals, CCA, generalized gradient approximation for the study of surface and molecules and we can also use hybrid XA, the combination of these two in various uh, percentage ratio. So here in this block, I am showing the use of LD and GG in 75% and 25% ratio. So for minimum, depending on different systems, minimum energy using ZZR LD can be obtained by using the optimization of this exchange correlation function. For optimization of basis sets, as I have mentioned in the last lecture, that the DZP double zeta polarization, this basis set is accurate enough for any type of simulation used in system. Now, some useful scripts for systematic optimization. For the systematic optimization of materials, nanomaterials, in our lab, we use one script for the optimization of mass cutoff, k points, lattice constant, and the final optimization using sufficient numbers of conjugate gradient steps. And this script is developed by me with the help of Dr. Rodrigo and which can be obtained by dropping one single email to my address, email address and uh, the tutorial of this script is given in, uploaded in my website. So for the optimization of mesh cutoff, this is the first step. We have one cutoff directory there and uh, in this directory, Two scripts are there, one is script cutoff dot sh and the get e versus c script along with the psf files of elements in the same directory. To run the first script we will use this command and this will create 10 folders in the same uh, directory and then we will run the second script by using this command. And this will generate one E versus C date and the plot of this data file. And by using this plot, we can get the best mesh cutoff value. This is the lowest energy value. So the optimization of mesh cutoff will take some time depending on uh, the speed of computer system, or the laptop. And the second step, we will optimize k point. And for this, we will use the data obtained uh, from the first step, the optimization of mesh cutoff and substitute this mesh cutoff value in the script keypoint script.sh in the given uh, space and then we will use this script by using 
this command and the second uh, a script by using this the similar one the same one uh, similar to the first one and again we will get one data file e versus k data and uh, one plot also which which will show the best k point the lowest energy value point and uh, for the third state the latest constant optimization we will have again two scripts one latest optimization script and this second script to get uh, e versus a data file and uh, again we have to substitute the best optimized mesh cutoff and key points from earlier uh, script run in space and place of xxx and yy given in that script and then again we will use these two commands simple commands similar to the first one and we will get this data and find the best that is constant value by using this and by using this three data one the optimized mesh cutoff and second k points and third this latest constant and we will make one active file using this and the final script we will run in the last this will take obviously some more time because configured gradient steps is here i think about 200 so this will take some time depending on the speed of your system so let us see how this uh, work by using the demonstration this is that script made by me and uh, i have included here that readme file giving the detail of the use of this script so as i have mentioned in the presentation that one folder is here containing psa files along with two scripts this is the first script i am using here two items of agi molecules so that fdf file of this molecule is here and uh, i want to show here that the range taken here is starting from 50 to 500 with a gap of 50 and uh, this actually gives the path of sister binary file and uh, here my sister binary file is in beam directory and uh, this is the name of fdf file and other things are uh, the part of fdf files and here mesh cutoff is mentioned here in dollar i and this dollar i is a variable which will run from 50 to 500 and uh, now let me run this so This is the terminal. The same directory cutoff. So I will use that uh, command sh this is script and this will start. So now first folder has been created. with uh, mesh cut of 50 and uh, additional running so in between let me show you the contents of second so this is the first uh, directory related to optimization of cut off second this is the key point where again we have two scripts one key point script and second is get e versus k to obtain e versus k data and uh, third this is the latest optimization again latest optimization script is here and with that second script get e versus a script and uh, in the last uh, final optimization script final optimization so what is the difference in the first case we have this variable is here delta i in terms of mesh cutoff in the second script 
in k pint at k so the difference so here the range i have taken is from 2 to 14 with variable at this block data is present here in x y z in three directions let us factor other things are same and uh, here this x x x will be replaced by the mesh cutoff value obtained from this uh, first uh, optimizer run for the mesh cutoff and then for lattice optimization this is that uh, script and here I have taken this range in between 2 to 5 because the HA molecule is containing only two atoms with two species so very small so before running we should take care of this range now why 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 this is the key point values which will be obtained from the optimization at k point run and then again x axis this will be uh, obtained from uh, the first uh, cut of optimization script right. and uh, for the final one fdf file is here this is the fdf file similar to first y by y this will be replaced by optimized k value and this will be replaced by optimized lattice constant and this will be optimized this will be replaced by optimized s cutoff and here differences here we will increase the num we can increase the number of arbitration as well as number of cg steps in the first two cases i have taken cg steps is zero here also the cg step is zero here that cg step is zero but uh, iteration is same but uh, one can reduce the number of arbitration to save time so the default value is 50 so one can take 100 uh, 150 numbers of iteration but for the final terms one one should use that numbers of iteration is it's about 300 and uh, numbers of easy cg steps in between 200 to 600 so here i am using uh, 300 and uh, one thing i also want to mention here is this last term again there is some difference uh, can be seen here i am using this Hayes term so uh, during this optimization, three optimization processes, these four parameters are not being read by that sister, sister, but for the final, here there is no hash terms here, so uh, this is uh, being used by uh, sister to rerun that program. So, this is the detail of a script made by me and we are using this script since last three to four years so now about four folders have been completed and let me see the progress of system so this is so during sister run, this convergence is also important. This is now reducing as numbers of iteration is increasing. So this is also important term. As well as for optimization process, we should also take care of. Let me show you the output file here. This is the output file. Everything is listed here. And uh, this is <coughs> the energy term. <coughs> My system is being converged. This force value must be very small, and uh, the details is given in tutorials and tutorials given in sister web page. So I think. Uh, It's uh, quite enough, and uh, one can try to run this script to optimize the system. And uh, actually, I want to 
so the second step also that's why i am waiting for the completion of this so about 200 so let me use second about 200 okay so it is continuing but i am using second step in this is the second script giving me the plot of e versus cutoff so let me show you the four points this is the optimized value so one can take this optimum value 150 or 200 uh, for the further use in the second script so this will take some more time so let me conclude the presentation now so after the successful completion of this I believe that the student will have one optimized structure of material and a material under study for the further characterization using uh, based on its uh, properties this is my research team and uh, I am very much thankful to my guide for his kind of blessing, his help and uh, Dr. Professor Arpante as well as Dr. Rodrigo for their support time to time. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to give your valuable feedback.